I believe those left a mark. We're testing the Federal HST in 45 ACP, 230 grain jacked and hollow point. Obviously there are a lot of different choices out there for 230 grain or 45 ACP ammo and Federal is certainly one of the major players in the industry but this particular product line, the HST, is one of the newer technologies and I definitely would consider it a technology that is available to us. You can see the very very large hollow point cavity there are some serrations on the bullet. You have nickel plated brass, which is always a bonus. And we're going to take a quick look over at what I was using a moment ago for those test shots. That is the Colt 1911 government model, Series 80, 5 inch barrel, and the advertised muzzle velocity from Federal is 890 feet per second. So I certainly expected to get close to that or maybe even pass it with this 5 inch barrel, and that's exactly what happened. You see my five shots there? and we nearly touched 900 feet per second on two of those and my average when you round it up is 891 feet per second so next up is taking a shot at the sim test media that is calibrated to match ballistic gel specs taking the shot from 10 feet are we going to be able to produce something that looks like that and as we segue over to that chapter of the video I'll answer another question take the opportunity to do that this is what happens when you're shooting these bullets at that AR-500 steel. This is one of those opening five shots. You see that jacket that flattened out, and that is all that's remaining of the lead. That's all lined up next to the infamous $1 U.S. piece. And our president from Tennessee, James K. Polk. Interesting effect on the outside of the block around that point of entry. Big block, 20 inches in length, but it's a big slug. Should be easy to locate. Based on where the bullet entered, I have centered the knife over the block, sliced it into two halves. We're going to focus on the left side of this track for this session. You can easily, clearly see where this started to expand at about one inch in, and this cavity, which at its widest point is an inch, runs to about the five inch mark and see if I can pull these open there are a couple of channels there's one here and there's another one over here those are the result of some expanded pedals so that's a good sign and these are approximately half inch deep so you double that up with the other side and you've got roughly a one inch diameter opening that's cranking through here we're moving on out to get our measurement and we're looking at the bullet resting right here I'm going to give it 13 and 3 quarters, 13.75. Zoom in in this lighting, and you can see we definitely had some expansion. Can't tell, obviously, how much, but we'll get that out in just a second. Looks pretty good. 13.75 on the penetration. Here's another perspective for you. This was sliced across the top going down to give you this cross section, and it was at the 2.5 inch mark going in obviously you can see I've removed the bullet and it has been given a bath try to line it up with how it was actually cutting at these angles at this depth and just keep in mind that as it continued forward it's spinning and these are being rotated around I'm not gonna repeat exactly what I said as I started digging this out of the block and got the full scope of it but something to the effect of the gel block has given birth to a freaking tarantula there's the high end on the points the average is 0.892 inches. Retained weight is 230.5 grains. About the only way to sum this up is to say that the Federal HST in 45 ACP, 230 grains is an absolute beast. I was very pleased with all aspects of this test in this format. Hope it was educational for you. Obviously be mindful of the fact that in a short barrel 45, unlike this five inch Colt, your velocities are going to be lower and that could impact ballistic performance. You should be aware of that. I'm very pleased with the results here and I think my fellow Tennessean would be as well. Thanks for watching.